I'm sorry. Children. Looking for young children. I'm going to have to use you because you're, you're pretty young yet. <laughs> when I tell my Christmas story, right? Yes. I think I told this 18 years ago. Anybody remember it? No, some of you couldn't. How old enough to remember it? <laughs> but I put a, I, I put a twist. I put a twist on it. So it's a little different. Based on Hans Christian Anderson's big stories. I embellished it. I embellished it. Yeah. I embellished it. <laughs> okay. Well, the ones that the ones at the altar is opened up already. I mean, the pulpit. That's the reading for today. Yeah, yeah. That's a, the gospel. That's my gospel book. Now, this is my intercession. Did you take all the papers out of here? You needed those too, right? Oh, they're over there. Oh, that's from. No, that's, that's this is for the twenty fifth. Yeah, that's my twenty fifth intercession. Oh, I need these. Yes. Take it. 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 Take I don't have my answer. I'll use these in my house. Do you say the intercessions today? No, I just say the opening and closing. So whatever you want to say in between. Okay? Okay. And so it doesn't matter. Yeah, say normal time. Yeah, time. So the creed, and then the yeah. and then I'm going to bless the manger at the beginning. Uh, Mass. So okay. Okay. All right, so then everything else will be normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, we have no more book yet here. Look at the blessings. Look at the one Jesus here, right? Let's see, let's put him over here. Oh, he's heavy. Did you see how heavy he is? Did you try? No? He must have gained some weight there. I think the softer boy's got to know. Too much. He just wanted to walk through the candles. Oh, I mean, could you, I don't need somebody to carry baby Jesus there. On the way out, at the end, at the end, we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's see. Well, yeah. What we What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down the aisle, and we're gonna head over to the the ranger scene. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, how's that? This We're going to head down to the manger scene, and then you put the baby juice yeah. in, and I, I say the prayers of blessing. Oh, let's see, what is this? Oh, he's called 649. What is this? Is there going to be a different one then for tonight, Father, at midnight? What's that? Uh, I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I didn't pay. I didn't look at it. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. I have to pay for all the people. That's a big load. There's a couple of people. That's right. I don't want to pay for that. They're the ones who have to pay for the most. That's right. Oh, don't you strike that on the right button. Okay, here we go. All right, so Mary Alice Shields. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, do you have a... Do you want to put the uh, bucket of holy water? Yeah. Do you want to put the bucket of holy water by the... So I can... Yep. Okay. Well, we got not bad. Two minutes to go. So we'll make a clearance right here. We got, we got lots of things to carry. All right. Should we say a prayer and head back? Ready? Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. God our Father, we ask you with your spirit as you celebrate this Holy Eucharist on this Christmas Eve. Draw us in the perfect sacrifice of your sons you represent on an altar. And give us a deeper love and appreciation for him becoming one of us, though he, his divine, came down from heaven to be one of us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Did you try carrying that? Is that heavy? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, well, if you can hook it up later, just use it before the washing of my hands. Okay, yeah.
I'll just use the holy water for this. Yes. Okay, can you have another light out to read the announcements? Yeah, I guess we could. No, I'm coming up to my regular seat. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. But you're faster than me. Go ahead. You're faster. You're going to go. Are you sure? Yeah. Sure you are. See, I got all these other things to do here. Let me find a repair too. Uh, uh, this over here. Good evening. Merry Christmas to all, and welcome to Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish. Our announcements for this weekend. On Sunday, December 24th, there will be no CCD classes for the grades 6 through 8. And on Monday, December 25th, there will be no CCD classes for grades 1 through 5. On Thursday, December 28th, there will be a charismatic prayer meeting in the church at 6.30 p.m. And the St. Vincent de Paul Society is asking for names of individuals or families who may need assistance during the holiday season. Forms are available on the tables in the back of the church. And Our Lady's January Lottery Calendars are available for, for purchase on the tables in the back of the church. They are $5 each. And the parish bulletin can be viewed by going to the parish's website, reverendfrankcarwacky.net. Today is the Nativity of the Lord. On this blessed night, we begin with Isaiah's proclamation yeah, that can. one day the Lord's people would be transformed so we all from them. forsaken to delightful, leading God to rejoice in us. Next, Paul testifies to God's many accomplishments on behalf of the Jewish people. Matthew traces Emmanuel's lineage back to Abraham. Forever we sing the goodness of the Lord. For in Jesus, God not only rejoices in us, but is truly with us. In a special way, we will remember Mary Alice Shields during this Mass. We pray to give us your wisdom that we build a community. in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please stand and join in singing our opening hymn, O Come All Ye Faithful, number 99 in the Missalette. 
Okay, uh, we now do the uh, blessing of the crush with baby Jesus in there, and so we, we pray. God of every nation, from the very beginning of creation, you have made manifest your love. When our need for a Savior was great, you sent your Son to be born of the Virgin Mary. To our lives, he brings joy and peace, justice, mercy, and love. Lord, bless all those who look upon this manger, be remind us of the humble birth of Jesus, and raise up our thoughts to him, who is God with us, and Savior of all, and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May mighty God bless this manger scene in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christmas and Merry Christmas it has arrived at this Mass. And let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. 
brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, our mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, our Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, our the Word made flesh in the splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our Judge, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Our first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet. Until her vindication shines forth like the dawn, and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication, and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name pronounced by the name of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall people call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul reached Antioch in Pisidia and entered the synagogue, he stood up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow Israelites, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out of it. Then he removed Saul and raised up David as king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, <laughs> 
Christmas and Easter. So I did hopefully get a few volunteers of young people who are good at listening to stories and who like stories that start like once upon a time. I think uh, I think I'll have Brogan. Brogan uh, Lutz came up here. Will he come up here? He's still young somewhat. Okay. And other ones I mentioned, maybe they'll come up and put him stand right here. So that makes it more interesting when you come. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. See, see, I'm calling out names here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, let's see. Make yourself comfortable on the floor, or you could stand if you want. Here they come. Thank you. This is one of my favorite stories. It's based on Hans Christian Andersen, who uh, wrote a lot of fables, but I took it and embellished it, you might say, a bit more. And here's how the story goes. Once upon a time, there was a very kind king, very loving king, and he would go around with uh, chariots and wagons and carriages, and he would take food to the poor people all over his kingdom. He'd take food and clothing and medicine, and almost, almost every day he went out caring for the poor. And as he was going out caring for the poor, he saw a very beautiful young lady who was very poor, and her house was called all kind of run down, and her clothes were very poor, but he thought she was so beautiful. So he asked uh, some of the neighbors about her, and they said, oh, she is a wonderful woman, young woman. She goes to Mass in church and, and believes in Jesus, and she is very kind and caring, and, every, and got a great personality and very loving. And he thought, that's the one I want to marry. By the way, the king himself also went to church every Sunday for Mass, and he was very devout. And so that's what he's looking for, a good wife like that. And so what happened was um, he's thinking about, how am I going to ask her to marry me? So he got his advisors together, and they said they gave him some ideas. They said, when you go to rap on her door and you ask her to marry you, how about if you go, make sure you wear your crown with all its jewels, the biggest crown you have, and all the gold, and make sure you wear your fancy robes. And, and the military officers, oh, and the general said, hey, uh, I'll provide the army for you. We'll have the soldiers in their best uniforms, 
And, and so the band director said, I'll have the band. We'll have the trumpeteers and the drummers to come to the front door. And so then you will arrive in, oh, not just any chariot, but you have that gold chariot, that beautiful one. Arrive in that gold chariot, get off the chariot and have the drummers and trumpeteers playing their bugles and trumpets and everybody making sound. And then you, you rap on her door and then when she sees you with your crown and everything like that and you ask her to marry you, how could she even say no? She's like, well, I think, and the one, one advisor said, yeah, but I think she'll faint. You know, she'll be like shocked. I mean, you know, it's the, it's the king, you know, asking, and how could she refuse? And the priest who was on the advisory committee said to him, but, you know, he said, okay, he says, that's not way, the way to do it. He said, because um, you want her to love you freely, and she's going to feel like she's forced to love you. When you come with all your power and all your riches, she's going to think she's forced to marry you, and not out of love, but forced into it. And besides, you may even faint on the floor when you do that to her. So the king said, yes, yes, you're right, he said to the priest. I will come up, I have a better idea. I will just dress in poor clothes, and I'll just arrive in an old beat-up chariot at her house. And I will then rap on her door, and I'll just be dressed very poorly, and I'll fall to my knees, and then I'll tell all the wonderful things I heard about her, how good she is, and I would like to marry her. He said, but if she asks who you are, I'm, yes, I'm going to say, well, yes, I am the king, but I came this way to beg you for your hand in marriage. And then he said, and what happened? She said, yes. And she said, oh, king, you are so humble and so gentle and caring and loving. How could I refuse? It wouldn't be your crown or your gold or your power to convince me, but your, your goodness and your holiness convinced me that you would make a great husband. And why do I tell you this story? Because that's what Jesus did. Jesus was king of the universe. Matter of fact, we have a feast day call, Jesus Christ, king of the whole universe, with trillions of stars. It says in the Bible, everything was created through Jesus. So Jesus came to earth. He could have come like a king. He could have come with millions of angels, you know, maybe, you know, singing and blowing trumpets or whatever. And he could have come in and riding on the cloud and he could appear before us and say, look, I am Jesus. I created all those stars, and I have all this power, and I want you to love me. I demand you love me. Well, we'd be all scared to death, wouldn't we? We'd be like that lady that the king was going to use that method to get her to marry. But we, would, we want to love him. But Jesus wanted us to love him freely. Not just like the king. To love not because who we are or what power we have or how rich we are to love us freely. So how did he come? And you know, he came as a poor little baby in a poor stable, and he came as a helpless baby. Here's God who's actually helpless. He needs Mary and needs others to take care of him. We all came in the world as helpless babies, too, didn't we? He came as a helpless baby. And have you, and you ever been around babies since you grew up yourself already? What do you want to do? You want to hold them and, and then make faces at them and make them laugh and you, know, you enjoy them. And they're so innocent and you want to maybe even pick them up and hug them. So that's why Jesus comes as a little baby. His arms are like this, you know, come to me. I'm your God. But I come and ask for your love. I don't demand it. I don't want to scare you with it. I just want you to love me freely on your own. Because here's how I come. And that's how Jesus came into the world, just as a little baby. And if, I, uh, if, if we could make Jesus alive and as a baby right now, wouldn't all of you like to really... And what he want is to pick him up and hold him and give him a hug and say, Jesus, I love you because you are so gentle, you are so good, you're so kind, you're so wonderful and merciful. That's why I love you, Jesus. But you know, every time when you're old enough to receive communion, you receive communion, you receive Jesus in your heart that same way. And you can say the same words, I love you, Jesus, because you are so kind and gentle and humble. And I thank you for coming to earth and becoming one of us. Amen. So thank you for listening to the story, and that's how it is. All right, take care. Please stand for the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, one of the Father before all ages.
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, to whom all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he said that death was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He is sent to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this joyous day, we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us. Assured of God's closeness to us, we turn to God with our needs and the needs of the world. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may be light to the world in the way we proclaim, by word and deed, the gospel message of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may work to free their citizens from the burdens of poverty and war, oppression and injustice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as Joseph and Mary welcome the gift of the child Jesus, all mothers and fathers will prayerfully nurture their children's vocation in Christ and especially welcome his call for priests, brothers, and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations, that they may lay down their arms and work tirelessly to build a world that is forever peaceful, following the example of the Prince of Peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those for whom this time of year is difficult, due to grief, stress, or family tension, that they may find comfort in the knowledge that God remains with us through all our hardships. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died recently, that they may be gathered into paradise by Jesus, the bridegroom and lover of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's get in and pray for peace in the Holy Land and Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord Glorious God, our Father, by your will, your Son, Jesus, became incarnate and changed the world for all times. Help us to incarnate your Son in our lives, changing the world to reflect your love and mercy as you hear our prayers and grant our needs through your Son, Emmanuel, God is with us, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
Please join in singing Hark the Herald Angels Sing, number 102 in the Missalette. For to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ. Who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Some incense now. Let's see if the incense comes out. Oh, there you go. Okay. I do have to use some incense, right? Thank you. Let me go. I will put a little bit so I know it's at the fire. Perhaps. and cleanse me from my sin. Pray 
you, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we look forward, O oh Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with the angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the It is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the name. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these offerings, these gifts, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all of those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and for all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating that most sacred night in which the Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior of this world, in communion with those in memory, we venerate especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we humbly pray, graciously accept the oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and count among those of the flock you have chosen to Christ our Lord. Be pleased, O oh Lord, we pray, to bless and acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread into his holy and venerable hands, with eyes raised to heaven to, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took this precious chalice into his holy and venerable hands and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, by your cross and resurrection. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation, be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be brought by your holy angel to your altar and high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that of all of us who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember, Lord, also your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also who your servants, those sinners, Hope in your abundant mercies. Grant ye grant some share with fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Amid us we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, to whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, Fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. God, he 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. If I'm not worthy, to enter my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body Christ. The body Christ. Who's giving out the rose? You're giving out the rose. Okay. And uh, let me give you the cup first. Of all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Blood of Christ. Christ. Please join in singing Silent Night, the body number Christ. 81. The body Christ. 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 Gets a little more room for them to get through here. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body of 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 Christ, pretty soon. The body of Christ. 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 The 
body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. The body Christ. Amen. Oops, Father, I dropped it. No, I didn't. Okay, got it. Good, yeah. Good. The body Christ. Amen. The body Christ. 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 Amen. The body Christ. 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 Just a minute, I can't see. Why. see. Why you take it? Mm-hmm. Right now, that's it. That's it. The body Christ. 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 The body Christ.
Those of our participating by YouTube, we will do our act of spiritual communion written by St. Alphonsus Liguri. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since God at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And for those of us who just received Holy Communion, we can say to Jesus, I embrace you because you're already here in my soul and in my heart.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may draw a new vigor from celebrating the nativity of your only begotten Son. By his heavenly mystery, we receive both food and drink, who lives and reigns forever and ever. I want to thank uh, Sherry and our wonderful children's choir and others up there. It's absolutely beautiful voices. They go in and out with their voices, and they have strong and beautiful voices. Let's give them a round of applause for the community. Here. So I'd like to thank also our electors, extorian ministers, all the altar servers that are here today, and everyone that helped and decorated the church so beautifully so that we have a beautiful celebration and we have good weather for uh, Christmas. Maybe some people like to see a little, but not necessarily, but it's still Christmas, right? The Lord be with you. May mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Be to God. And have a blessed Christmas. That's for how. Our closing hymn is Joy to the World, number 86 in the Missalette. <laughs> Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas.